What's going on everybody? It's Trey Neo here and today we are going to be talking about Ross Cameron and Warrior Trading, specifically how the Federal Trade Commission, the FTC, is forcing Ross Cameron and Warrior Trading, his company that he sells his courses through, to pay $3 million back to customers that have bought the course because the FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, has found Warrior Trading guilty of false investment promises. Now, before we get into this video, I want to start with this is not going to be some kind of attack on Ross Cameron, some kind of attack on courses in general. It's not even going to be an I told you so video, even though I did post a video a while back stating that he was being investigated, which got a lot of hate and a lot of people were angry at me and a lot of people didn't believe me, but it's not going to be that kind of video either. This video is just going to talk about these kind of things, because this is not the first time the FTC has done this. Actually, over the last six months, the FTC, a lot of these cases have been coming up a lot more, even more so than the seven years that I've been trading and paying attention to this kind of stock market, social media stuff. The FTC is starting to take this really seriously. And it's going to be a conversation around these promises that these courses make. So if we scroll through, I'm not going to read the entire article. I'm not going to insult your intelligence like that. I will link it in the description down below. So if you want to come read all the information about it, uh, feel free to. But the FTC's complaint alleges Warrior Trading Advertising showcased the trading results of its CEO founder, Ross Cameron, there's his name in the article, and, and that claiming that his strategies were profitable and scalable, but the vast majority of customer accounts actually lost money with numerous consumers losing thousands of dollars on top of the thousands they paid Warrior Trading. So that just right there goes to show that, so in his advertising, they give some examples here. Learn to trade consistently, towards financial freedom, learn how I make money and you can too. It, it just goes to show that the FTC is seeing these claims of, and it's not, once again, it's not just warrior trading. You see it all over the place. Of course, they're going to see and they're going to be able to easily more attack the ones the, the ones that are larger. But go look at TikTok. Go, go, go search stocks on TikTok. You'll see 20 videos like this. But these claims that, oh, I'm going to sell you some course and it'll make you a millionaire. That is the warning that comes from this video. You're not just going to be able to buy a course, take a, take a quick course, or maybe not quick, whatever. Take a course and then be a millionaire trader. Trading is really hard. And I'm not, once again, I'm not saying that courses are pointless or stupid or you shouldn't buy them, whatever. Do what you want. It's your money. But don't think that you're going to go buy some course like Warrior Trading or whatever and that you're all of a sudden going to be a, a, a financially independent trader. As you can see from this account, the Federal Trade Commission has seized that most consumers that buy this still lose thousands of dollars on top of what they're paying Warrior Trading. I'm trying to find... Oh, here it is. The company made tens of millions of dollars selling its programs online. That's another very, very fun little tidbit. From 2018 to 2021, Warrior Trading's made tens of millions of dollars selling its program. That's another fun little tidbit to think about. When you think about, oh my gosh, these people that sell courses make so much money. Well, they're also selling courses. Not all of them. Most of them are not warrior trading size, not making tens of millions of dollars. But when you're making that kind of money on the back end, just from selling your courses, of course you can trade huge size with next, with little to no fear of losing when you know you're making this money on the backside, not to mention the people that are following you into trades when you're selling your courses like this. Um, but once again, it's just, just one, you should know this is going on. If you're watching this video, you are invested in the stock market social media world. You're here, you're on YouTube watching a, a video about the stock market. You are part of this world. You should know this is going on. You should know this happened. And two, just a big, big, big warning that don't think once again, if you want to go buy a course, feel free. But don't think that you're going to go buy a course and it's going to make you money. The FTC even now vehemently disagrees with that as it is coming after these companies, forcing them to pay. By the way, this $3 million is going back to consumers. Now, I'm not 100% sure how that's going to work. So say you bought the Warrior Trading course, you're probably going to get a letter from the FTC in the mail that's going to give you an application process something like that I would assume is what's going to happen I've never bought the course I'm not worried about it and I don't know how exactly it's going to happen but this money apparently is going back to consumers harmed by its false advertising claims so once again just don't think 
that when you buy a course, it's going to make. Listen, I put everything that I know out there for free, and I still get asked a couple of times a week. Somebody reaches out to me in, in, in PMs or on my live stream or whatever. Trade, do you sell a course? Trade, do you sell a course? No, I, I everything that I know, I talk about for for completely free, right? People have this idea that if they buy a course, all of a sudden it's going to be better education. Like, oh, these 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 profitable traders, they have they really have some kind of secret tip that they're just not telling us that if I buy their course, I'm going to be able to learn this secret tip and then all of a sudden I'm going to be a profitable trader. Guess what? Trading is very hard. It takes years to master and most of it is your own emotion, is your own emotional control. I would say that's 90% of trading. Learning the setups, learning entry exit setups and all that is probably, in my opinion, the easiest part of trading. It's your own personal emotions and your own personal bankroll management and your own personal psychology and all that that really, really goes into trading. So once again, the largest point of this video, uh, one, it's happening. This this did happen. It, it 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 has happened. It's already gone through. It's not it's not an investigation or anything anymore. Ross Cameron will well, Warrior Trading CEO is Ross Cameron will be paying three million dollars back to customers. And then two, please do not think if you're gonna go. Oh, I'm gonna go buy some course, and all of a sudden I'm gonna be a trader. Just a large warning towards that to pull out of this case. That's that's the thing all of us maybe on the sidelines and beginner traders can take away from this case that you're not just going to buy some course and make a bunch of money no matter what those course sellers tell you so yeah that's the video like subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next one